Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, we know that Tableau is the powerful and the fastest visualizing tool that is used in the business intelligence industry. Not just only in the business intelligence industry, but everywhere. You know, it may be an IT sector, it may be a retail, it may be e-commerce. Everywhere people are using Tableau for visualization purpose. So uh, once again, I am back with few of the theoretical interview questions that has been asked to me for W round for different profile profiles. So let's begin with the very first question. What is cross database join? Well, we know that cross database joins allows to combine data from two different type of databases. Now it can be either database can be either SQL, MySQL, it may be Excel or pdf or maybe text file any database any you know different type of databases you can join um, with the help of cross database so the next question is does cross database join has primary and secondary database too like we know that when we do blending and when we do joining generally uh, during blending we have one primary database one you know your data source is acting as a primary database and the another one is acting as a secondary database so let me just go to here the answer is no but let me just so show you let's just connect to any excel file let's say i'm just going to connect this excel file and now to connect you know any different type of database we can add a connection here and let's just connect the text file so for this text file you can use any text file so now we have to don't, don't get confused that these colors are different so they are using you can see here like in sheet there are multiple connections but they are using both as the same database means both the uh, databases uh, the one is the text file and another one is the excel file they both are created as they were in the same database now I hope that this is clear to you that there may be any number of different type of databases in cross database join they will be treated as they were in the same database so um, for an instance here we have used two connections one is the text file car files and another one population data which is an excel file so both are treated as one so if we are performing data blending here let's say i'm just adding a new you know connection here and i just want to add any any file here so basically what it will do now you can see that it has two uh, databases fine so these are different so one with the blue um, symbol blue tick it will be represented as the primary one and the another one is represented as the secondary one so why I explained this because the person can ask you about blending and the person can ask you that either blending has a primary and secondary database yes blending has blending do have primary and secondary databases now let's just move to the next question so the next second question is which is an alternative graph for speedometer well speedometer or gauge graph is one of the most popular chart types um, I can say that they both the graphs that has been widely used for visualizing achievement rate or growth rate so how your company is growing so uh, speedometer uh, if you have if you guys have seen like speedometer on the active or your bike or something it's somewhat similar to that so basically people are using for visualizing the growth rate so what else we can use here uh, if you are not familiar with speedometer just go to the i can say that go to net you can search there so another thing this bullet graphs we can use bullet graphs uh, as an alternative for speedometer and if the you know interviewer asked you what else apart from bullet graphs so you can use bar graphs as well so there are different type of bar graphs horizontal bars stack bars so you can use these as well uh, apart from speedometer so the third question is what is the limitation of context filter in Tableau? So if you are not familiar with what context filters are, I would suggest you guys to search on internet. It's um, it's available, easily available on Google. So uh, well, one suggestion, if you have any query like want to search anything, I would suggest you rather than searching it from here and there, just go to the official documentation if you go to help.tableau.com and then you will search your query you will easily you know 
get your answer so this is what uh, i do when i don't have you know any idea about any question or i am searching for something i always refer to go to the official documentation official website so context filter basically slows down the performance so how the interviewer will definitely ask you how they slow down the performance basically whenever we are using context filter tableau generates a temporary table so obviously whenever you will set context filter that temporary table needs to be refresh each and every time whenever we trigger the view so if context filter will be changed the database needs to recompute and rewrite the temporary table which definitely result in uh, slowing down its performance right so the next question is what are tiled and floating in the dashboards for this let me just uh, take you to the tableau well basically tiled and um, floating you can see here here is a tiled and here is the floating these both are the layouts present in the dashboard in case of tiled items don't overlap and by default if someone asks you like uh, which one layer which layout is by default present in tableau so this is tiled because in case of tiled the items don't overlap the layout that will be adjusted according to the dashboard size but in case of floating layout items can be placed on one another even it this doesn't mean that you can't have a fixed position and size in case of floating you can have that so let's say here is this so i don't want to use floating so now this is tiled but when you see here you you know it's it's not like uh, clearly representing um i mean to say that it's not clear it's not neat and clean or our visualization is not really that good so i will change it into floating so now if you see so it can overlap in case of tile items don't overlap and this doesn't mean that uh, you can't have a fixed size or you know fixed position in case of floating items now it is floating and you can change it order as well you can uh, set its you know dimensions as well so by default it's tiled why i am saying this because interview can interviewer can you know ask you further questions like uh, which one is by default or can we have fixed positions and size in place of floating items so these questions can be asked further so the next question is do we have any way to handle null values in tableau well we know that tableau cannot plot any null values on axis so what we can do uh, so let me just take you to the official tableau as i before this and this is the official you know doc, um, official site for help for any tableau help any topic related to that if you need any help you can go here just help.tableau. and you can type your query so tableau basically we know that it can't plant null values so for hiding this there is you know um, there is an indicator always i don't have any right now in my um, you know data here i have already uh, hidden those so basically like this you have at the lower right corner of your view you will have a special indicator here so once you will click here right so you will have an option to handle null values apart from that there are few more things like here uh, there are null values or you can see here so here are the null values so you can just dis in uh, a part uh, sorry you can just exclude these null values right so if you are excluding now there will be no null value so you can do that as well uh, basically what we are doing by just excluding this right if you want to see there is just i think there is only one null value here so this is one so if i don't want to i can simply exclude it so what we are doing basically we are filtering the things we are filtering our data and we can do that by simply just by simply adding those values or here if we are adding it here so it is not including the null values we are just simply filtering the data another way we can use show data at default position so basically what it will do it will replace the null values with the default values we can do that as well so there are multiple ways to Uh, handle the null values but mostly people prefer to simply use a special indicator to handle null values 
so then now the next question is what are relations in the recent tabli version how it works so relations you can simply we know that relations are new default way to combine multiple tables in tabli so instead of joins relations uh, are being used in the recent tabli versions relations are much more dynamic and flexible to combine data for from multiple tables so they tell you know how two tables are combined or related with each other on basis of some common fields but they are not merging the tables together so the next question is how it works for this let me just take you to the tableau and show how it how it works so basically uh, there is one excel sheet here let me just uh, take another one uh, to show how relation works in tableau so uh, from the first sheet we have this data and uh, i am just dragging oh sorry my bad i am just dragging it here so if you see uh, it has automatically built one to one relation here so basically relationships also uses joins but they are automatic tableau automatically selects the join type based on the fields means we are going to use in the visualization so it does the thing automatically okay so it automatically finds the matching fields to define the relation so if if in case if it is not able to determine the matching fields then you will need to select the relation so our very next question is how do relationship differ from join you can even get it from here so before that let me just uh, just show you how this can create many to one or one to many relation or many to many so this is one to one relation so it automatically finds a matching field between both of this but let's say i just want to involve this in queries as well so in that case uh, there is no you know it will not it is not able to find the matching field automatically so in that case you need to build a relation uh, okay on which column or on, on which basis you want to create a relation so in that case you have to do that manually if you see here so there is no matching field so you have to edit the relation so the next question is how relationship differ from join we auto we know that it actually in case of relationships it does all the join type of work automatically so it is context aware we don't need to you know select the join uh, while we were using join we need to select we want to use left join right join so that is not the case with the relationship so no upfront join type we need to select and it is much more flexible as compared to joins so the next question is what are the different type of actions in the worksheet well there are different type of actions like highlight go to url go to sheet change parameter change set values so you can read about all of this on tableau official website so that's all about uh, to this question if you have any query any question you can write down in the comment section i'll try to solve it out and if you i'll provide the link as well in the description below for these questions and do subscribe the channel please like the video and share with others as well thank you so much stay tuned bye bye